Azure Gleam, Skirmish in the Fog. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus grants refuge to the Central Church as they flee Garig Mach Monastery, in turn, provoking the Adrestian Empire to declare war on Fargus. While Dimitri and his advisors strategize how to repel the Empire's assault, they are met with devastating news. Lonato of Castle Gaspar has raised an army against him. As I'm sure you have all heard by now, House Roe in the south has declared its fealty to the Empire. What's more, Lord Lonato of Castle Gaspar has set out with the express intention of tracking down and murdering the Archbishop. I had hoped we could reconcile the matter by using neighboring lords as intermediaries. But it seems Lord Lonato couldn't look past our willingness to shelter the church and has taken the matter into his own hands. I can't believe this. Ash, I won't stop you if you wish to return to Castle Gaspar, even now. I appreciate the offer, truly. But I am a knight of the royal family. My place is here. So, what are House Roe and Lord Lenato's soldiers up to? Or the Imperial Army, for that matter? There's been no movement from House Roe as of yet. He likely lacks the nerve. Lord Lenato, on the other hand, has set off from Castle Gaspar and launched an attack on Geraint land. Meanwhile, a vanguard from the Imperial Army has breached Kingdom territory. It seems they're aiming to rendezvous with Lenato and join the assault. Wait, but if they're just a vanguard, doesn't that mean a larger force is going to come after them? We'll never stand a chance if they manage to meet up and form one massive army. House Galatea is sending reinforcements to fend them off, but our enemy deployed alarmingly fast. I only hope the House Geraint soldiers can repel Lord Lenato and his men long enough. In any case, we can't just sit here on our hands. They need help, and fast. Let's ride. You're right, and I'll be coming with you. The risk is too great, Your Majesty. You should stay here, in the capital. We've already been over this to do. My leadership is needed on the front lines. We'll march west from Karen territory to intercept and crush Lenato and the Empire's forces. From there, we'll mount an attack on Aryan Road. The Roe army will be cut off from the Imperial reinforcements and fall by our hand. Finally, we'll seize control of Aryan Road and the entire Western Front along with it. I'm asked a distant relative of the royal family, Duke Ivan, to keep watch over the capital in case of an emergency. Gustav will be staying behind as well. So as long as nothing too extreme happens, we shouldn't have anything to worry about. Sounds like a plan. Most of the big fights are going to be around Aryan Road, if I had to guess. No matter what, we need to hurry. We'll be done for if we don't drive them off soon. Agreed. And my apologies. We always seem to deploy with such haste lately. It's nothing. It's not like it's your fault or anything. Sure, you're the king and we're your subjects now, but we're your friends before that. We'll do whatever you need of us. I suppose you're right. Thank you. Oh, and one more thing before we go. I received word from the church the other day. Seteth and his sister Flame will be joining us from here on out, leading a company comprised of Knights of Seros. Said it, huh? I'm not the kind of guy to turn down a helping hand, but I can't help but wonder why. I haven't had the chance to discuss it with him yet. Perhaps you can ask him yourself if the opportunity arises.
Do you have a moment? How are you? I wonder... Right on! I implore you! Troubling indeed. Speaking of which... Which battle do you wish to reflect on? I'll continue gathering records of your battles. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Well, well, hello, you. Some truly capable people here. Come back soon, all right? Hey there, need something? Is this it? See you around! Curse that doddering old fool! Striking out on his own was idiotic to the utmost degree. Had he only been more patient, we could have all joined with the Imperial Army's main corps and mobilized as one cohesive unit. It seems the Kingdom's offer of shelter to the Central Church incensed him to act. You know how deeply Lord Lenato's hatred for the Church and their kind has festered. Ever since the day they brought a blade down, on his son's neck. But what of his adopted son? Wasn't he made a knight of the royal family? For a time he served the Grand Duke of Etha as well. I can't possibly fathom what the man is thinking. 
Really? The matter seems rather open and shut to me. He possesses a burning hatred for both the church and the archbishop at its head. Just as they deserve the ultimate punishment in Lenato's mind, so too does the king who has chosen to take them in. <sighs> if only he'd slowed down for a moment to consider how his ridiculous actions would affect me. I carried out my betrayal of the kingdom with the promise of imperial protection of our territory firmly in sight. That will, of course, all be for naught if this ends with our lands razed to the ground and my head skewered on the lance of the enraged King of Fargus. <laughs> I imagine he will be quite angry. Yes. We should prepare ourselves for what's to come. If Lord Lenato and his men fall, Aryan Road is sure to be met with a siege. In which case, we headed back to the kingdom. A peace offering, if you will. But if Lenato emerges victorious, we defect to the Empire as planned. Both sides covet the fortress. Whichever way the winds of war blow, we only need match them to stay afloat. Are you sure, Your Excellency? Normally, you'd balk at such cagey behavior. <laughs> Don't play dumb with me, Gwendol. You've said it yourself. There will be no shame in surrender as long as you fight tooth and nail to the end. After the last two years with Dimitri, I thought we'd seen every battlefield there is to see in Fargus. But Magdrid Way, huh? This one's new. Uh, a little foggy, don't you think? I might even hazard to call it a lot foggy. You've never fought in conditions like these, so you do well to keep what wits you have about you. If you're not careful in this fog, you could find yourself walking straight off a cliff. Horrible way to go, if you ask me. Come on, you're not my mom. I can handle myself. Wow, look who woke up on the confidence side of the bed. If that's how you feel, maybe you don't even need my help anymore. Oh, come on, it was a joke. Don't be so sensitive. You know I appreciate you. <sighs> Fine. But in case you forgot, if you die, I go with you. Our fates are intertwined. So no doing anything too reckless out there, you understand? Now come on, let's go. Leave this to me. I'll do what I need to. There's no telling where our enemies might be lurking in this fog. Be at the ready for potential ambushes. In any case, we lack the luxury of waiting for it to clear. Renato must be found and put to the sword as soon as possible. We will begin by advancing our front line. All forces, prepare to march! 
No backing down. Not even against the king himself. We fight for Lord Lenato. I can barely see my hand in front of my face. Not a problem. Move out. Begin. I am advancing. Leave everything to begin the operation. Let hey, didn't we bring torches? Yeah. I can see way better now. This will make moving around a lot easier, too. Gotcha! We will proceed as planned. We must strike. Let's begin. It's time to move. I'll do my... I'm a little nervous, shall we? I'm... Let's take it for ourselves! You're finished! Pray them no mercy. Begin the operation. All Begin the operation. Our orders are... I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over... Not a problem. I've got this. We must strive to perform to the best of our... I'll do my best. I'm a little... Let's begin. It's time. I've awaited this moment. <laughs> Everyone, fall back. We need to regroup. All is proceeding apace, but don't let up. And keep an eye out for everything. Time to get to work. Those mercenaries must be reinforcements from the Empire. Everyone, gird yourselves. <laughs> Didn't think I'd get another shot at the Ashen Demon this soon. You're more capable than I expected. They're holding back. So much for gauging their strength. <laughs> Looks like I'm late. Guess I'll get working on my orders. Let's begin. It's time to move. Shall we? I must succeed. Not a problem. I've got Miklan from House Gautier? What is he doing here? So, my brother's joining us. Looks like His Majesty really pulled out all the stops. I'll stop the enemy dead in their tracks. Do you want to use your brains and figure out how we win this thing? Someone must be giving these mercenaries their orders. We are going to find them. Nicklon can handle things on his own. Not a problem. Let's... I didn't expect they'd have reinforcements, but it doesn't change much. We know what we have to do. Now all that's left is to do it. Are you seriously going to sit back and let someone else handle the Ashen Demon for you? Lend me your strength. 
Let's push through, Dimitri! Right there with you! Stand up! Take a breather. Yeah. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Begin. The sky speed. Let's begin. Come with me. I'll give it a thousand time to push on. Shall we? I must begin the upper. <laughs> 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 Bring it down quickly. I'll protect you. Let us go together. You got it, Dimitri. This foolishness. I must succeed. Onward! They were a formidable opponent. Would that we could have finished them here. But greed in battle will only end in tragedy. So, to beat the kid. These kingdom folks are tougher than I thought. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches oh I'll give it leave everything to Let's begin. It's time to move. Not a problem. I've got this. We will we must strive to perform to the best of our ability. new to Gerald's bed, but my only hope is that I don't get you all killed. That funeral could truly be a grave affair. Grant them no mercy. The Sky Spirit watches over me. We will pros We must str- Not a problem. I've got this. Well, couldn't hurt. Not a problem. I've got this. I'll do my- I'm a little- the enemy's stronghold will be ours. Come then, let us fight with honor. Shall we? I must succeed. I've got this. My turn. Out of the way. You got my back? I will guard your back. I got this. I won't be the one to drag my new comrades down. I owe you one. I 
can Not a problem. I've got this. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Let's begin. It's time to... I'll give it a... Leave everything to me. Not a problem. I've got this. We must strive to perform to the best. I'll do my best. Let's move. I Stand this no longer. I'm falling back. We should reach the commander if we can get past all the weeks. We'll go together. Leave it to me. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. I must succeed. My duty calls. <laughs> of time till they found us. Let's give them a nice warm welcome. These are no ordinary mercs. are gone, but this fog is still as thick as ever. It's like... Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Shall we? I must... We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. I'll give it a thousand percent. Time to push off. Let's begin. Come with me. Leave that sorcery Take a breather. to blame for the predicament we find ourselves in. Those mages down. If they're the ones invoking this fog, defeating them should dispel it. I'll give it a thousand per Leave everything to me. Let's begin. It's time to move. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. No mercy. Your trickery ends here. We're 
forest falls to you, Lord Lenato. The fog is lifting! We did it! The time for subterfuge has passed. We shall meet now in honest combat. <laughs> The victory will be ours, Renato. Come, everyone. We will overwhelm our foes. Leave everything. Let's begin. It's time to move. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. But he's done so much to ingratiate himself with the Empire. We can't exactly leave our new friend to die, can we? Now, Renato is but one step away. If we can just try to reason with Dorothea, though, we might be able to settle things peacefully. <laughs> I have a feeling something like this might happen, so I prepared a technique of my own to guard against their magic. The might of the Dresden is on our side. Yes, with our combined forces. Messages. We need to stop them before they call for backup. Let's do this! Thank you. Not a problem. I've got this. Shall we? This will surely help. I've awaited this moment. <laughs> Shall we? I must succeed. Begin the art. <laughs> See you die for nothing. We will pros we must strive to begin. The skies. Let's begin. It's time to move. I can't say I want that either. Oh, you win. Rebuke him to my final breath. Fling open the gates. Huh? 
Bonato, it's time to settle this. And not a moment too soon. No escape! A must six. I have burned far too many bridges to turn back now. You must reconsider, Your Majesty. The Central Church's blessing is not but a poisoned chalice. Forgive me, Lenovo. I must grasp it all the same. This is the brightest future Take I can breeze. give my people. People can use this. Step you aside, Ash. I have a duty I must uphold. As do I. The duty of a knight to his kingdom. I'd never betray that. soon to join you. <sighs> the battle is over. A fine effort, everyone. Especially considering the conditions. Guess we did our job, at least. Well, well, doesn't someone sound disappointed? And what's with that look? <sighs> I don't know. We completed our mission and all, but it still feels like we lost somehow. Sure, we stopped Lenato, and we put Geralt and his mercenaries to rout. But not before they dragged us through one of the toughest fights we've experienced. And most of all, I failed to take down the Ashen Demon. If that's not a loss, I don't know what is. Wrong! You were hired to do a job, and you did it. And in the process, you've received a valuable reminder about the unique danger the Ashen Demon poses. You're right. I can't believe one fighter could turn the tide of an entire battle like that. Precisely. They're surely going to continue standing in our way, so do try to dig a little deeper the next time you square off. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks for the chat. By the by, have you seen our valiant leader? I wonder where he scampered off to. Hmm, no Felix or the others in sight either. Maybe they're having a meeting or something. Sounds like you should try to track them down then, though on second thought, it may not be any of your business. I probably shouldn't be sticking my nose into their private matters, but I am pretty curious. Let's go. Not bad. Have a 
by such room to grow? I'm not stopping now. I'll hesitate no longer. I won't let myself stop here. You did well, Miklana. I will remember the deeds you've performed here today. <laughs> you know as well as I that I only did it for the money. Your money. That's the man from before. I don't mean to question you, but why exactly are you eavesdropping on them? It looks like they're having an argument. Butting in now would just make things worse. What are you playing at, Boar? This washed-up bandit doesn't deserve to look at our army, let alone be a commander in it. It's a decision I made in collaboration with the Margrave. Two years ago, after I ascended the throne, I ordered Gustav to capture him, made him swear his allegiance to the royal family, and gave him a unit of soldiers to command. Spare me the details of how you did it. What I want to know is why. My army was lacking leaders. We needed capable fighters to fill in the gaps. As for Miklon here, the Margrave himself has instructed him in all manner of military tactics. I've seen his prowess with my own two eyes. <sighs> in the centuries since the time of King Lug, Crests and relics have kept Fargus safe. We've come to depend on that power to protect us from outside attacks, and grown all too complacent in its wake. Naturally, we will take full advantage of our hero's relics in the battles ahead with Adrestia. But we cannot protect our home with relics alone. If all who could wield them fell, so too would we. The blood of the heroes is thinner now than ever before. We need men like him among our ranks. I don't doubt the truth of your words, but that's not the issue here. Do you really think it appropriate to trust a man barely removed from his life as a brigand with the responsibility of command? Everyone's heard the stories of the elder Gautier brother, how he resorted to banditry and plunder. Do you not think our soldiers would object to being led by a man with such history? <laughs> Command, huh? That's got a nice ring to it. But you should know, I'm just a prisoner. My attendants, my aides, my best men, all stooges for the royal family. Breathing down my neck every waking moment. All the sleeping moments, too. No wise remarks, Sylvain? You're standing there mute, as if this has nothing to do with you. I was one of the first His Majesty consulted with. There's nothing I could say that I haven't already. I'm sure you can't stand the sight of me, Miklon. But let's see if we can't get along, okay? Huh. Anyway, now that we're all caught up, I'll await your next orders, Your Majesty, sir. Let me guess. Any means necessary? I won't defend it. Though I do see use in such a man. What he did in his time as a bandit was monstrous, I admit that. And I deserve no small amount of judgment for giving him command in spite of it. But I can't help but wonder. Perhaps his life could have been dramatically different had he only possessed a crest. Same as the uncle I murdered. Mm. 
I understand your reasoning, your majesty. Yet he's hurt so many people. What's done is done. Stolen goods may be returned, but stolen lives cannot. If the man is unwilling to atone for his wrongdoings, then he will pay for it with his head. If he does wish to repent, however, then what better way to do so than by risking his life on behalf of our people? If any among us still can't forgive him, by all means, take up your arms and enact vengeance. I get what you're trying to do, but you still should have talked to us first. This isn't about who shoulders what blame. It's a matter of letting us know what you're thinking. <sighs> you're right, Felix. My apologies. Hmm. Now then, we march on Aryan Road as planned. With House Rose military might crippled, seizing the fortress should be a somewhat simpler matter. The Silver Maiden. Can we really take it? You saw how many troops they've already lost. Just plain math will tell you there can't be that many of them left back at the fortress. At least I sure hope not. And I am sure Houses Karen and Geraint would be willing to lend us a few squadrons in return for the aid we provided them. Agreed. And their militaries are both formidable indeed. I'll have to factor their support into our strategies moving forward. And what of you, Ash? Will you be joining the fight at Aryan Road? I... Yes, I will. Though, I do appreciate the concern, Your Majesty. As long as you're sure you can handle it. Do not hesitate to retreat if it becomes too much for you. House Rose forces aside. We now have the added threat of Gerald and his mercenary band to contend with. The very same mercenary band you had been looking for, is it not? Yeah. One of them in particular, a warrior known as the Ashen Demon, who felled my entire company back before I met you. Not sure I'm looking for revenge, exactly, but I do want to surpass them, no matter what it takes. I see. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Sorry, I wasn't really trying to hide it or anything. Just never came up, I guess. I believe I understand. Overcoming Gerald and his mercenaries is what drives you in life. Yeah, you could say that. It's the closest thing to a goal I have, for sure. Hmm. In any case, those people cannot be taken lightly. I'd like to avoid crossing blades with them as much as we can. Though we'll likely encounter them sooner rather than later. Imperial forces are still encamped in the former Arendelle territory, after all. Right. We'd better be ready for anything. 